G'day, this is Mr. Thompson, and this is part two in how to model your truss bridge in Inventor. So last time uh, we built this wireframe truss. Now we want to convert this into a 3D object with um, uh, truss members that actually are made of something. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to um, go File, New, and again, I just um, let me just show you that again. I'm going to go File, New here, so I'm not going to not going to I'm not going to use these guys. I'm just going to click here and uh, under, U under US English, under metric, I'm going to come down. I'm going to pick last time we did a part. This time we're going to do an assembly. So not a mold design. We're going to do a standard assembly and we're going to use millimeters. So uh, let's create there. Now, actually, I want to use meters, but um, the point is I don't want, to do, don't want to use inches and things like that. So, um, so firstly, let's fix that. So let's go to Tools and Document Settings and uh, let's see Units and we'll go to Meters and click OK there. Good. OK, so now we're in uh, Meters. OK, now an assembly, usually an assembly is where you have lots of parts that you've built and you bring them all together. Um, now, we've only got one part that we're going to use, but we the reason we have to use an assembly is because uh, the assembly has some different menu options that we need, like inserting frames and doing frame analysis, uh, which just aren't available uh, under the part uh, menu system. So we're going to um, use an assembly. So what I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble, I'm going to place um, so what we're doing here is we're placing the truss wireframe that we've already built into our new assembly. So there's my truss. So if I double click on truss, uh, now I'm not just going to click anywhere. I'm going to, well, I'm going to click anywhere, but I'm going to right click anywhere and I'm going to place grounded at orange at the origin. Uh, so that sort of locks the uh, truss into the origin. So you can see it's placed one truss and I could keep clicking if I wanted to place lots of trusses. Because uh, sometimes that was, that's what you do. You know, if you're building a car, you might place four wheels and then later and then align them all up later. But we only want to put one bridge there, so I'm going to hit Escape, um, and there is my uh, truss bridge. That's a, a part that's now part of our assembly. So let's, let's before I do anything else, I'm going to go File Save, and we'll save that as um, let's just call it a truss assembly or something more creative than that if you like save okay now I'm going to go across to the design menu and the design menu has got a lot of cool stuff that we can use so each line here we want to convert into an I-beam so we're going to do that here by going insert frame okay now uh, I've been practicing so I've already got the settings we want to use um, I'm going to come down here to um, category and you can see there's a whole bunch of categories. So if you uh, wanted to just model yours with uh, square or rectangular or hex bars, you could do that. I'm going to use I-beams. Um, so obviously, um, well, I'll use I-beams. So let's click on that. Uh, now there's a bunch of different standard uh, I-beams. I'm going to use AS, which is Australian standard. Uh, if you haven't worked out already, I'm Australian. Um, and family. Well, we could use, um, we got, there's a bunch of different bar, beams here. I'm just going to use the um, universal beams, rolled structural steel, bar, steel bars and sections. So I'm going to use that, that family. And this here is a list of uh, different size beams that you could use. Um, so that 410 um, UB, UB's universal beam 60, that's approximately 41 centimetres, you know, point um uh tall uh, if you get onto the internet and you look up australian standard i beams it'll tell you exactly what that uh, what the dimensions of that uh, i beam are but that's the one i'm going to use um let's see mild steel is what we want to make it out of i guess we could choose other stuff here <laughs> yeah so where did i go steel mild i'll use that um and you know what i'm going to leave everything else there uh just as is so uh all right so Oh, what have I done? Oh, okay. Now I've got to place it. So placement. I've got to select some lines that I want to turn into I beams. So I'm going to click select line, and now I'm going to choose. I'm going to start with all the beams that are vertical, straight up and down. 
um, sorry, not straight up and down, where the eye beams are straight up and down. So in other words, the all my horizontal members. So if I click on, let's just do one and zoom in. So if I click on here and zoom right in like that, you can see the orientation of the beam. So if I grab this, I can rotate the beam around. So I don't want the beam like that. I want it right up there at zero degrees. So it's actually chosen the correct orientation for me straight up, uh, which is good, but it's worth just, it doesn't always do that. So it's worth just zooming in to make sure your beam is the orientation you want. So I've got that one, that one. Now, everything that I place in one go um, are all going to be the same orientation. So I'm going to choose all of these ones here, that one, let's see, that one there, um, all of these ones here. Uh, also, let's zoom in. So they're correct. They're just sort of vertical up in the, the eye beam section is vertical because the bar is horizontal. So I'm just going to click all of those. Yeah, and these ones here, that one, that one, that one. Let's see. Oh, hang on. Just move that around. Uh, that one and that one. Okay, so I'm not going to click these vertical ones or these diagonal ones yet. Okay. Now, if I click OK, and then OK again, and it creates a whole bunch of um, elements there. It takes a little while, so I'll just wait for, for a minute. And there we go. So now we've got all these eye beams. In fact, if you zoom right in, you can see. In fact, to make it to make the view better, what if we go uh, view, visual style? Let's look do shaded with edges. Now we can actually see a whole lot better what's going on. Now, if you have a close look, you'll see that some of these edges aren't fantastic. That's okay. We'll fix them later. Okay. So let's just zoom all again. All right. So I'm going to do that again. Back to design, insert frame. This time I'm going to choose um, all the same settings, but I'm going to choose these um, vertical and diagonal beams. So if I zoom in there, I can see that orientation is, is correct. So that's good. So if I click there, same again. Can you see it even shows me a little preview? See the little eye there? So, so that's good. So these ones here, in fact, the rest of my beams now, zoom out, the rest of my beams, all of my verticals and diagonals, I'm going to do them in one go because they will all be the same orientation. So just clicking on all of these. There we go. All right. Um, so, OK, there. Give it a moment while it thinks about it. Creates a whole bunch of uh, members, bunch of elements there. And uh, here we go, it's going to draw them all in place. There we go. So that is already looking like a pretty good truss. But again, let's zoom in and we see, yuck, that um, you wouldn't feel very comfortable if you were trying to cross a bridge and you looked at the corners and they were like that. So let's not do that. Uh, we're going to zoom out. We're gonna, what we're going to do is um, some mitering and some trimming and extending and some notching. So um, now, um, let's look at each one of those individually. So let's start by mitering. So I'm going to click on mitre. Now mitre is something you do to the corners. So I'm going to mitre this. Oh, that's annoying when it flickers like that, isn't it? I'm going to mitre this joint here because that's a corner joint. I'm not going to mitre this joint here because it's not a corner. Uh, it'll try to make it into a corner by chopping off um, some of my beams and I don't want it to do that. So mitre, I'll click on mitre. Now I'm going to use Let's see, I'm going to select all the beams that I want to mitre. So that one there, that one there, that one there, and that one there. Can you see what I've done? I've just chosen those beams that make the outside of the truss only. Okay, so now I click OK. And again, it takes a little while, and it will mitre those, uh, those particular beams. So now if I zoom in, can you see that... Uh, I don't like that green flashing. I'll, I'll just leave it like that. You can see that that top beam and, beam and that diagonal down beam, um, they've been nicely mitered together. So we haven't finished yet. Um, we've got to do some more on that joint. Okay, so let's do that with the back ones as well. So mitre, and I'm going to do that one, that one, that one, and that one. So let's mitre those. Okay. So thinking, thinking, now they're mitered. Now, um, I'm going to, uh, 
now I'm going to miter these internal ones. So um, now I get an error when I do this, and I'm not sure what it is, but it seems to work. Um, so just go with me. Um, some clever inventor person out there might know what I'm doing wrong. I've narrowed it down to the problem I get is with this joint here, um, particularly with that member there joining in there. Um, I, I worked out by a process of elimination, but you know what, what I'm going to do works. So even though it gives us a little error warning message. So I'm going to do mitre again, and this time I'm going to mitre all of these internal members uh, on the side of the truss that I didn't do before. So that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, now this is going to do some weird stuff and that's okay. So I'm going to click OK. Alright, and this will come up with one error, but it's not going to be a problem. Oh, it didn't come up with an error. What do you know? Okay, alright, well, I'll take that back. <laughs> Whatever I did wrong, I fixed it. So if we come in and have a look close here, um, that's made nice, it's joined these nicely here, but it's done some weird stuff up here. That's okay, I'm going to trim that off later. Uh, isn't that flickering annoying? Sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to rotate around here. So I'm going to just, uh, I want to see the other side. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side here. So I'm going to, uh, let's see, do mitre again. And they're mitered. Okay, so uh, now again, we've got these bits sticking out the top. So what I'm going to do with those, let's come in a little bit closer and see what's going on. So if I come in a bit closer, okay, I want to look underneath it like that. So if I zoom in like that, there we go, so I can see underneath. What I really want to do is these pieces here, I want to trim them at that face there. I want to trim them off so that this guff here doesn't stick out the top. So if I do this, if I go... Um, trim extend yeah, click on that it asks me for two things firstly it asks me to, for my face the tool that i'm going to trim with that's the, now i've got to be careful i want to click that whole face there that's the face that i'm going to trim against now which members am i going to trim now i get to select the member so now if i zoom out first i'm going to select that member and that member it's giving you a little bit of a preview of what it's going to do i'm going to zoom out even further and I'm going to select all of those members that I just, all of those internal members. So that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Because all of those members, I want to trim them against the, the bottom of that top beam. Okay, so now if I click OK here, it will do, it will fix them up. So all of these sticky outy bits here. Uh, will be gone and that whole joint well there you go i knew i'd get an error somewhere okay that error is something to do with that joint there and that member there and i don't know what it is but um it doesn't matter everything you know the drawing and the um uh, simulation the stress simulation i do they're all going to work so i'm just going to uh, ignore that and go okay so if i zoom in now you can see that's a much nicer joint now it's cleaned it all up um so that's pretty good Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Uh, I might do this in fast motion. Alright, so that's the top. So you can see these top ones are all quite nice joints. Um, well, actually not quite. These ones here aren't nice yet. I need to trim that bit as well there. So let me just... Uh, move that down a little bit and roll it over so I can see underneath it. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to trim again. Uh, move that across to here. I want to trim using using that surface there. I want to trim this member. Okay, so there we go. Let's fix that up. And there's another one on the other side. Well, actually, there's there's four of them. There, 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 and there. I'll do them in fast motion.
Okay, so they're all trimmed. Now we're gonna do the same on the bottom, um, and it's exactly the same thing. I'll do the first bit slowly in real time, and then I'll fast motion the others. So I'm gonna zoom into this joint here, and I'm gonna uh, do trim, and I'm gonna select, uh, that's the face that I want to trim against. Um, let's see, yeah, that face there. And uh, the members that I want to trim are all of these, all of these ones here. So let's do that. Okay, so there are all my joints. If you zoom in on the joints there, they're pretty nice. They're all sort of nicely uh, mitered on the corners and trimmed on the edges there. So, uh, so they're pretty good. Um, now, the only thing that's a bit dodgy, gee, that flashing is annoying, isn't it? Okay, come in here. There, see these ones here? Um, we can fix them. We can, we can do a notch on those joints and make them a little bit, bit better as well. So let's do that. Let's zoom out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, uh, where is it, notch, like that. Okay. And you can see um, we what we want to do is, is um, the notch tool. Let's see, the yellow, the yellow one, that's this one here. That is the yellow one that we want to stay intact. So I want this one to stay intact. That yellow, that one across the top there. And if I select this one here, the frame members that I want to actually notch into that let's go that one that one that one that one and that one okay so you can see the color code the blue the blue there uh, they're the ones that the the shape of those are going to be changed and um, this yellow member there the yellow one there uh, that's the one that the uh, the blue ones are going to be i guess shaped to fit to all right, so if I click OK, whoop. if I click OK there, um, but now if we zoom in, you can see that there's a night that we have, we've lost that little sort of intrusion that went into there. Okay, let's do that on the other side again. And so I'm going to do that on this side and also down the bottom on both sides. Okay, again, I'll do that in fast motion. Okay, so there it is. That is my bridge. Um, and if we come in and have a look at the corners there, they're quite they're quite nice. Okay, so they're quite. Uh, uh, let me just zoom that around a little bit. So come in and have a look, a close look at the corners there. Um, they're all pretty neat and tidy. We haven't got any of those sort of ragged edges sticking out anywhere. Uh, all nicely mitered and trimmed and notched. Okay, uh, that's the end of this video. In the next video, I'll show you how to uh, create a drawing.